Hey, everybody, and welcome to the North Park Youth Podcast on location. Mm. We are at the Junior High Spring Retreat yeah. <clears throat> here at Pierce Williams Christian Center. And this is in Fingal, Ontario. In Fingal, Ontario. <laughs> and, and this is. I'm Cody. Uh, I'm the. No, I'm not going to say that because you, did you say your title? Uh, no. All right. I I'm, I'm Cody. And I'm Josh. At just two normal guys. In Fingal, Ontario. Here two in guys Fingal. in Fingal. That's right, and uh, and we're looking forward to a different podcast today. Not a normal podcast because you're hearing us now, and if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that we're in a completely different spot. But yep. uh, we're gonna get a, somebody else to host. Oh, okay. Because I don't know. I'm tired. I'm I'm fine, but I feel like the person that we're gonna bring on is gonna do Has a better job energy. than yeah. us. Actually, we're bringing on uh, the speaker. Oh, from our retreat weekend. So a, a star. Appearance, a star a guest, star guest, a, st- a Hollywood, um, a celebrity. Yes, a celebrity guest. Today's celebrity guest is uh, Mr. Joel Kelsey. Uh, he is the director of outreach at North Park Community Church, and uh, we're gonna get out of here and just let him do his thing. We are. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Joel. We're here at Junior High Camp at Pierce Williams, and we have with us today. I'm Lexi. We have Lexi. Lexi, what grade are you in? I'm in grade eight. Okay, I'm going to ask Lexi a question here, a random would-you-rather question. Lexi, are you ready? Yeah. Are you actually ready? Yeah. Can you sound more excited about being on this (laughs) podcast? Yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, thank you. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Shout. Why? Because I think it's funny. I think it'd be funny if I would wake up in the morning and I have to get my sister up. And I can't speak. I can't whisper, so I just have to yell at her. And I could yell at any. I could yell anything I would want. Mm. So I would. I would just yell. I would yell cockadoodle doo. Every morning. Yes. Do you know a lot of roosters that are around? I used to be awakened awakened by one every morning when I was okay. my grandfather's farm. Well, you got me there. So, <laughs> shouting is nicer for you, but not for anyone else. Yes. Okay. I would like to be a menace. We can't complain about that. There we go. (laughs) Lexi the Menace, folks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Lexi, for coming on the pod. You're welcome. All right, everyone. We are here with... Laura. Laura, what grade are you in? I'm in grade eight. How excited are you to be here right now? I am very excited. I It's great. I love it. Good. That's enthusiasm we were looking for that it took like three (laughs) times asking Lexi to have. All right, Laura, we're going to ask you a would you rather question. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Would you rather be able to fly or read minds? Um, I think fly, even though I'd never use it, because reading minds just sounds disturbing. Like, okay. I don't want to know what people think. That's true. You don't. It's yeah. very intrusive to do that. Yeah. But you would never fly? Like, do you walk to school? Mm, well, yeah. Would but you fly maybe to school? Like, maybe like a little hover, but I'm scared okay. of heights. So. Uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to hover a little bit. So it's like yeah. you don't have to walk. So the nice thing about flying is you don't have to move your feet. You're just like up and floating there. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe it would like take out energy as I fly along. I don't know the physics of being yeah. able to fly yet. I'll have to have Clark Kent. Do you know who that is, Clark Kent? No. <laughs> Superman? Yeah. Um. Sure. Okay, <laughs> folks, give it up for Laura on the podcast. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you tell everyone your name? Hi, I'm Isaac. Isaac, what grade are you in? Seven. Seven? How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Yeah, it's been pretty fun? All yeah. right, great. What's been your favorite part so far? Uh, playing soccer. Playing soccer. That's why we come here, folks, for the soccer. <laughs> All right, are you ready to play our Would You Rather game? Uh, yeah. Okay. Would you rather drink a gallon of ketchup? Or a gallon of mustard? A gallon is like a big yeah, jug. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know. He, this man knows his units of measurement. What are you doing, ketchup or mustard? Uh, Probably ketchup. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. Mustard would just be so gross and it would stay in my mouth for like Do a Do you week. like mustard? Only if it's like a little bit. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot of mustard. Like usually when you put like mustard or in ketchup on something, you're doing like double the amount of ketchup in like a single line. Yeah. That's a lot. I don't I don't think anyone could do a gallon of mustard. No, me neither. Okay. Good choice. All right. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Yeah.
Thank Thanks, you buddy. for having me. It's been a joy. How are you doing? I'm good. Can you tell everyone your name? I'm Sophie. Sophie, what grade are you in? I'm in grade six. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? It's been pretty fun. Pretty fun. What's been your favorite part so far? Getting to spend time with all of them. All of them? Who is them? People can't see the people on the camera right now. All the grade six girls. All the grade six girls. Give it up for the grade six girls. All right. Are you ready for your question today? Yeah. Would you rather always have to sing instead of speak or dance everywhere you went? I would rather sing instead of speak. Why is that? I like singing. Okay. So you would just rather do that anyways already? Yeah. Are you a good dancer though? No. Okay. So that not. would be a little, are you a good singer? Uh. You're a better singer than dancer. Yeah. Okay. So that's not bad. At least, at least you have that going for you. How do you think everyone else would feel in your family and all your friends about you singing everywhere you went? They would feel pretty weird because I don't sing often. Well, at least you would, they would get their own song probably, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Good answer. Thanks for coming on the podcast. You're welcome. How are you doing? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? Noah. The people don't know your name. You're saying like Noah. I'm Noah. I know. What grade are you in, Noah? Uh, grade eight. Yeah. How are you feeling about grade eight? Good. Yeah. Do you enjoy grade eight? Yeah. Is it your favorite grade? Maybe. <laughs> I haven't gone through all the grades yet. Well, we're about to find out. Are you ready to play our game of Would You Rather? Yeah. Okay. Would you rather sing like an opera star or cook like a gourmet chef? Uh, gourmet chef. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you cook a lot at home? Sometimes. Yeah. Would you cook more if you could cook like a gourmet chef, though? Yeah. You'd eat a lot of good food. Yeah. Like every meal you have is good. Yeah. Would your mom appreciate that if you cooked more? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I think she would. Okay. She would appreciate it. How annoying would it be, though, if you sang like an opera star, though? Like, really? Yeah. Like, if you went to church and sang a song, it would just be opera. I wouldn't ever sing. Yeah, you couldn't. That'd be a little bit embarrassing. It's a good choice you made there. Okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast, Noah. Okay. Thanks. Can you tell everyone your name? My name's Addie. Addie, what grade are you in? Sixth. How have you been in feeling about junior high camp so far? Uh, it's fun. It's fun? Yes. What's been your favorite part so far? Uh, the game last night. Long pause, but the game. Okay, great. Are you ready to play our Would You Rather game we have? Yes. Okay. We're going to ask you a question. Would you rather have, oh my gosh, would you rather have 500 tarantulas in your house or a thousand crickets jumping in your room? So the tarantulas are all over uh, your house. The crickets uh, are only in your room and you have to stay in your room. It's not like you get to pick a different room. Uh, probably the tarantulas, <laughs> because I hate little bugs. Yeah, that's true. You can see the tarant at least the tarantulas, you know where they are. Yeah. And the crickets would be loud. Yeah. <laughs> that's gross. What, are you afraid of spiders at all? Mm, sort of. Would you, if you see a spider in your room, are you killing the spider, or are you asking someone else to kill it for you? I wouldn't kill it. I would release it. But you would wild. like, you would catch it yourself though? Like you're not afraid to touch it? Not or with my hands. Okay. See, there you go. Well, at least you're not afraid of it horribly. How do you feel about crickets though? Have you eaten a cricket? I have not. Would you try a cricket? Yes. We have crickets in the back. I'm just kidding. We don't have any crickets. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? Emmeline. Folks. Are we ready to play? Can you tell everyone what grade you're in? Eight. Eight. How, how's it been going so far? How have you been enjoying junior high camp? Yes. Good. Yes and a thumbs up, <laughs> folks. You heard it here first. Junior high camp equals yes and a thumbs up. Are you ready to play our would you rather game? Uh, yes. Also yes and a thumbs up. <laughs> would you rather eat a can of cat food or a bowl of dog food? So I think the cat food is like wet. Where the bowl of dog food, my guess, is like dry. You know what I mean? Like the dry, like kind of chunks that looks more like cereal. What would you rather have? A can of cat food. So it's a little bit less, but it's grosser. Or dog food? Uh, cat food. Okay. Why is that? I don't know. I like cats. <laughs> so you would find yourself more with the cats than the dogs. Yeah. How fast do you think you could do it? Josh, bring out the can of cat food. I'm just kidding. We don't have any for you. Okay. Well, honestly, that's a fair question. It's a fair answer to the question. Okay. 
Thanks for coming on our podcast today. A yes and a thumbs up, folks. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, everyone. Here we are with... Devin. Devin, what grade are you in? Seven. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? Good. You heard it here, folks. Good. All right, are you ready to play our game of Would You Rather? Yep. Can you sound more excited? Yep. There we go. Would you rather have a beautiful house in an ugly car or an ugly house in a beautiful car? Um, depends what the inside looks like. Ugly. Okay. Um, well, or beautiful, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, uh, car. A beautiful car. Beautiful car in an ugly house? Yep. Why is that? I like cars. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. That's a good question. You know, a lot of people have that. A lot of people have a really nice car in an ugly house, and they just don't invite every, anyone over. But everyone thinks, hey, they got it going because their car is nice. What kind of car would you want to have? Um, a Corvette 2023. That is very specific. What color? Um, red. But you live in a shack. Yep. You're okay with it. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you know what you want. All right, everyone, that's all from Devin today, folks, with his nice 2023 Corvette, but the shack of a house. Thanks for coming on the podcast, Devin. Yep. <laughs> okay, everyone, we are here with... Anna. Anna. Anna, what grade are you in? Six. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? It's really fun. Really fun, everyone. Really fun. Are you ready to play our would you rather question today? Yes. Would you rather surf the ocean or ski the mountains? Probably ski the mountains. Why is that? Because I don't like big waves. <laughs> That's true. How are you a fan of snow, though? I don't love snow, but I like skiing. Yeah. Can you ski? Yeah. Can you surf? No. So that's probably just a good good answer anyways because it's something you can do. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> if you're surfing the big waves in the ocean, if something bad happens, not great. But skiing, at least you're able to do, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast today. Thank you. Okay. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? I'm Rosie. Rosie, yeah. um, what grade are you in? I'm in grade six. Uh, all the grade six girls are just coming through. That's <laughs> great. Uh, Rosie, are you ready to play our game of Would You Rather? Depends. Depends on what the question is? Well, that's if you don't play, you only get one question. I'm all not right, going to ask All right, I'll play them. it. Okay. Would you? Oh, my gosh. Some of these are weird. Uh, I know. Ready? <laughs> nope. Would you rather sneeze chocolate or cry cheese? Like, when you cry, it's like cheese whiz just comes out. Okay, that's just disgusting, but I'd love to see that on someone else. But it's not happening to someone else. Well, that sucks. What are you picking, mm -hmm. sneezing chocolate or crying cheese? Well, sneezing chocolate would be gross because, like, if I sneeze chocolate and someone saw the chocolate and they're like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll eat that, that'd be so gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty gross. That. So um, I'd like to prank people with that. <laughs> Do you sneeze or cry a lot? Um, I sneeze a lot, especially like during spring. Allergies? Uh, not exactly allergies. It just kind of irritates my nose. So which one would you choose? Choose then? Chocolate. Yeah, the really. Chocolate okay. One. But if you went to like cover your your arm, would just be like chocolate. Great. <laughs> okay, cool. You heard it here, folks. Great Yay. to sneeze chocolate. What would you choose? That's not the game. Can I just ask though, out of curiosity? Neither. Neither? I'm just kidding. You have to pick. I, I would probably did. cry cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I feel like I sneeze in public a lot, like when you're out, but it's not often you're crying around others. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast, Rosie. Thanks for having me. You want to tell everyone your name? My name is Lily. Lily, what grade are you in? Grade six girl. Let me guess. Listen, I didn't Ooh. ask you to guess. But All right, folks, this is her podcast now. She is in charge. Yeah. I'm replacing I'm Cody from now on. So <laughs> Not even me, Cody. Because <laughs> yeah, you're not on the podcast usually, so I have to replace Cody. Uh, okay, are you ready to play our Would You Rather game? I suppose. All right, they're getting saucier the more they come. Um, would you rather sleep in a doghouse every night of the week or lay in your own bed unable to sleep every night? So you're staying in a doghouse, but you're sleeping, or you can be in your own bed, but you don't fall asleep at all. Well, it depends because um, I can't sleep in like anywhere but my bed. Would I be like 100% be able to sleep? You're not sleeping. You're, you 100% are house. sleeping. The, like the moment you lay your head down, you're asleep in the doghouse. Oh, that's magical. I would want to sleep <laughs> in the doghouse. 
You wouldn't know you're in the doghouse until only when you like fell asleep and woke up, right? Is it a magic doghouse? It's not. It's not like Clifford's doghouse That's or Mickey Mouse's or anything. Wait, who's the mouse? Mickey who's the do- Mouse? <laughs> That's a mouse. Oh, well, it's your podcast now. You tell me. Uh, Pluto? He's a dog. Pluto. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not theirs. It's just a normal dog. Oh, okay. You're, you're picking doghouse? Yeah. You got to sleep. That's, that's a good choice. Because when else are you going to sleep if you pick the other one? Naps. Not in your own bed, though, on the couch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Can you tell everyone here your name? I'm Jab. Jab, what grade are you in? Grade seven. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? Definitely. Definitely been enjoying it? Are you ready to play our game today? Sure. Woo! Jab, this is the worst question I've seen. Would you rather drink a jar of hot sauce or drink a cup of toilet water? Like, it's clean toilet water. Like I would do a jar of hot sauce. Yeah, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. Um, like, a jar would be a lot. It would take you a while to get through, but it's not toilet water. Toilet water just doesn't sound right like no. it's clean just doesn't sound right i don't care if it's clean it's toilet water there's a reason it's called toilet water not water because we can't drink water good answer do you like hot sauce oh see that's fine what's your favorite kind of hot sauce um i'd have to say because i went to harvey's once and there is ghost pepper sauce and i tried yep. that on my burger and i really liked it yeah that's good okay well good answer then okay jab thanks for coming on the podcast today bud yeah thank you okay See ya. See ya. How are you doing? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? My name is Kayla. Kayla, can you tell everyone what grade you're in? Grade six. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? It's been great. It's been great. What's been your favorite part so far? Say the podcast. The podcast. (laughs) Folks, it's been great, isn't it? All right. Are you ready to play our game? Am I? I don't know. Are you? How about I ask the question and we find out if you're ready or not? Sure. Yeah. Would you rather, oh, I, we've already had that question. I was not ready. Would you rather go a month without bathing? Oh, my gosh. Or a month without the internet? I would go a month without the internet. Yeah, that's the only choice in this game right now. I think everyone would appreciate that as well. Your whole family would be very stressed out about that. So, good choice. Are you, do you go on, like, your phone a lot or, like, internet a lot or, like, do you use a lot or are you like, eh, it's fine? I play video games sometimes. <laughs> but not going out of the bath for that long is way worse. That's the right choice. All right, Kayla, thanks for coming on the podcast today. Okay, can you tell everyone your name? Uh, my name is Gara. Um, what grade are you in? Seven. Seven. Have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? Yes. What's been your favorite part? Free time. Free time. Everyone loves some good free time. You know why? Why? Because free. That was a good You should have laughed more. Um, let me find you a question. Some of these are repeating. Would you rather hand feed a lion or an elephant? Lion. Really? Why? Well, an elephant can smush me in like seconds. That's true. You have to stand right by the A lion seat. would take a couple minutes. <laughs> okay. So do you think you can outrun one of these animals? Mm, elephant, but... You're just like a little bit bigger than the, or like you're closer to the same size as the lion, but the elephant's just huge. Yeah. Could you not like run in circles around the elephant? Cause it's so big. It'd be hard to turn around. Mm, I guess so. Okay. That's a brave. What's your favorite kind of animal? Uh, cheetah. Cheetah. Well, yeah. You better be as fast as one if you're going to feed that lion. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Yeah. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Um, can you tell everyone your name? Caleb. Caleb, what grade are you in? Six. Six. How have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? Good. Okay. Are you ready for your question? Yes. It's a doozy. Okay. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? What? So I think that means you either have straight arms all the time if you have no elbows or straight legs all the time if you have no knees. Oh, uh, no knees. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Like you would walk around like kind of lumbering everywhere. Yeah, because but with no like elbows, you couldn't grab stuff like you couldn't. You'd be, like, knocking everything over, right? Yes. Okay. Good answer. Okay. Thanks for coming on the podcast, bud. Okay, bye. Bye.
Can you tell everyone your name? Uh, my name is Haley. Haley, what grade are you in? Six. Um, how have you been enjoying junior high camp so far? It's great. It's been great. What's been your favorite part so far? Um, probably staying up late. Staying up late. Whoa. Okay. And eating candy. Whoa. Parents, you did not watch this, hopefully. Okay. So we don't do that at junior high, though, right? Only time you're allowed. Okay. Are you ready for your question? Yep. Would you rather squirt lemon juice in your eyes or eat a whole ghost pepper? So basically your eyes burn or your mouth burn? What would you rather have? Probably in my mouth. Yeah? Do you Ghost like pepper? spicy food? Not really, but I wouldn't want my eyes to yeah. like be burn. Yeah, that would be really harsh. I think that's the right choice. I think yeah. it's a hard one, but it's the right choice. All right. Thanks for coming on the podcast today. Thank you. All right. How's it going? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? Josiah. Josiah. Are you pumped to be here this morning? Yeah. Or this afternoon? It's like 5 o'clock. I don't know why I said this morning. No. Josiah, what grade are you in? Grade six. Grade six. Are you ready for your question? Maybe. I, I think so. Okay. Would you rather sleep in a luxury hotel room or go camping under the stars? Stars, I think. You'd rather go camping under the stars in a fancy hotel room? Yeah, you'd remember it more than just a hotel. Josiah, that was a very profound answer. I would have picked the luxury hotel, but it's because I'm not thinking as smart as you are. Josiah, that was very in-depth thought. Thanks for coming on the podcast today, bud. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye. How are you doing? Good. Can you tell everyone your name? Ella. Ella, what grade are you in? Six. Six. How have you been enjoying junior high camp? It's been great. Yeah. Are you excited to play this game of Would You Rather? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Here is your question. Would you rather only take cold showers or only drink hot water? Only take cold showers. Yeah. Do you like cold showers? Yeah. Or do you really like cold water? I like cold showers. So that means like that's probably the good choice because after like you're playing sports or running around or hot outside, you can't just have like a cold glass of water. Yeah. It would have to be hot. Yeah. That wouldn't be great. No. But then your shower every morning is cold. Yeah. You're okay with that? Just get in and get out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's a good answer. Um, I don't know. I feel like I might take the hot water. I I enjoy a hot shower, and I just I couldn't do a cold shower every day. Good for you. You're braver than me. But there's an alternative to the cold shower. You could just bring hot water into the bath or the shower with you. No, that's breaking the rules. No, it's not. No, it is. It, Listen, it it's my game. It's breaking the rules. <laughs> it is. I just made that rule. First rule, you can't bring hot water in the cold shower. Okay. You're still taking the cold shower? Yeah. Okay, good for you. Well, thanks for coming to that podcast and giving your answer. Thanks Appreciate for it. inviting me. You were invited. That is true. <laughs> okay, can you tell everyone your name? Jake. Jake, what grade are you in? Six. Okay, you ready for your question? Yeah. Would you rather be able to play any song on demand in your mind or watch your own dreams on your phone? Any song in my mind. Yeah, do you like a lot of music? Yeah, I love music. Okay, well, that's a good answer then. Okay, that's it. We didn't have any more time because we're running slowly out. Thanks for coming on the pod, Jake.